What time is it, kids? It is race time. And heat 1A of unlimited boat racing for the Albert Lee Appliance Cup. Here are your boats in heat 1A. It is the Alberto, the Peters and May, Albert Lee Appliance, Miss Beacon Plumbing, and the U57 Fedco boat. Those are your boats in unlimited racing heat 1A for the Albert Lee Appliance Cup. Heat 1A of the Albert Lee Appliance Cup is brought to you by DCS, by Fisher & Pico, brilliantly engineered appliances that deliver elegance, durability, performance, and a high degree of functionality. What's under your hood? And is presented for Seafair by Amway. The Starter Clock brought to you by J.P. Morgan Chase, a proud sponsor of Seafair. Chase, making it easy for your personal and business banking needs to start and run strong. As you look at the course conditions, almost no speed, calm water, great temperatures, great conditions to go racing. Here are the drivers at the controls. Steve David will be looking for his fourth consecutive win in Seattle. There they are. Lee Stoll standing by with the Alberto team. Fastest qualifier to come out guns blazing and fighting for that inside lane. The crew says they took a look at this heat. They says this is their time to really try the basics. Go fast, go straight, and come back in one piece. There is plenty of time for tricks. Other drivers in this heat, Tom Thompson, Brian Perkins, and then the J. Michael Kelly in the uh, Beacon Plumbing Boat along with Mark Evans and Chris Francis. They've had to do some work on that Beacon Boat. I tell you, Steve, this boat was in terrible shape after a blowover in Tri-Cities last week. I was in the shop on Wednesday. They didn't think they'd get it here, but they did get it on the water in time this morning to do some practice. But before J. Michael got in the boat today, he said, we're winging it. Those are the drivers in Heat 1A for the Albert Lee Appliance Cup. Coming up on a minute 20 before the first heat of the day on CairoTV.com. We're all around the world. Here is the voice of Unlimited Hydroplane Racing, Mr. Mike Fitzsimmons. Thank you, Steve. And the boats are in the lower corner now. Some of them going slower, some of them going faster. As you can see, they do not want to cross that to yellow buoy on the exit side there until the one minute gun. Now they have crossed that. J. Michael Kelly on the inside looks as though from the unofficial clock that that crossing was okay. But now watch Steve David as he moves up on the outside. He's going to try to outrun him to the upper turn and and, uh, perhaps try to get side by side with him or cross over. He's not going to have enough real estate to get that done, though. So it looks like J. Michael is going to wind up in the inside lane. But as Lee Stoll mentioned, Chip Hanauer, they're winging it with this boat because they haven't had a whole lot of runtime. A little what, early to that buoy. But what does it say about J. Michael? The last time he was in that boat, he flipped in Tri Cities a week ago, but he goes right for lane one. Goes right for lane one, but he uh, really doesn't know a lot about how his uh, boat might run. Let's see what happens as they come around the corner and arc. They must maintain lanes now at this point. It'll be Jay Michael uh, in the Beacon Plumbing in lane number one, and it will be Steve David in lane number two. The old boy, Alberto, the uh, 21 boat, Albert Lee in lane three, and uh, Peterson May in four on the outside, the 57 Fedco. Here they come down to the line, and it looks as though we got a clean start as they head down into turn number one. Lots of traffic, lots of Rooster tails, and they cut down into that deceleration buoy, and it looks like the old boy Alberto's got some advantage there, Chip. It's a clean start, but you know, old boy Alberto has had so much trouble all year with Steve David not getting penalties. He's got the fastest boat out here, but he continues to make mistakes, hit buoys, cut people off. I think this this weekend. He's just going to try and stay clean and let the boat do the work. We're watching J. Michael try to give chase, but J. Michael's boat is loose. It's got a lot of air underneath it. Very, very loose. He keeps the hammer down going into that corner, but that bow is flying high. He's seen a lot of air under those sponsons, getting a very nice corner, however, uh, as they come out of the uh, turn on uh, lap number one to come down and complete lap number one. It is Steve David on the outside with a little more uh, beans under the uh, bonnet, so to speak, and he'll come across the line first. But what does this again say about J. Michael? Michael, a guy who last time he sat in that boat blew it over upside down. He went into lane one, which is a tough place to be, and now he's taking it right to Steve David. I tell you what, J. Michael Kelly is a racer, and he's given Steve David all he can handle right now. No question he's a racer. The question is, has he got a race boat that will let him ride, drive the way he knows how to? And at the moment, so far, he's hanging together. Both those boats a little loose down the back chute now. At this time, Steve and David has a, a lot more speed and has uh, stretched his lead just a little bit. Now, let's see if J. Michael on the inside tries to pull right alongside, and he 
definitely is uh, closing in that real estate comes out oh beautiful corner but uh, again this time the old boy alberto with steve and david uh, out clean water running out front and we'll finish lap number two in the lead uh, and uh, jay michael's trying to stay within the rooster tail again you can see jay michael's getting pretty light in that orange boat in second place these elimination heats, remember, are for points. So they're trying to gather points so they can get in that all-important final. Albert Lee comes across in third place, followed by the 57 Fedco with uh, Mark Evans at the wheel. Trailing is the Peters and May with uh, Tommy Thompson at the wheel. Down the back shoot for the last time now, and halfway he is down there. It's no uh, it's no benefit now to try to chase him. Uh, Jay Michael is going to let him go, and it looks like the old boy, Alberto, uh, did it just exactly the way they had planned to do it. Get out front, stay out front, and off the corner, coming wide enough to not chop anybody. And it's not going to be any question from the uh, from the stripes upstairs. And here comes the Opoy Alberto winner of the Heat 1A of the Albert Lee Cup at Seafair. And that is Stephen David, a good accounting of himself. A pretty darn good run for uh, J. Michael Kelly, though. They at least uh, understand that they can race. They need some more additional uh, uh, adjustments on that race boat to be as fast as they are going to need to be. Third place, uh, that will be the uh, Albert Lee with uh, Brian, Perkins. Brian Perkins at the wheel and uh, Mark Evans whose name is perhaps the oldest pedigree out on this race course at the present time, finishes fourth place. And the Peters and May don't know what happened there, but they're not running uh, at uh, competitive speed. And uh, Tommy Thompson's going to return immediately back to the pit area. Steve David has always been, had, had a boat that was not quite as good as Dave Vilwak. So his mentality has always been, I got to throw myself at it. He's got to change his thinking now that I have the best boat. I just got to stand in trouble. Now you see Steve David, Back on the dock. I think that is, was the strategy in this heat. That's what he did. And he is there with our Lee Stoll uh, after one heat and one win. Lee. Hi, Steve. Actually, we were told by your crew this was a heat you were supposed to take it easy. Is that the sign of taking it easy out there? <laughs> I think they know they're joking when they tell me that. You know, we, we got to find out what we got to get the Alberto into the winner circle come Sunday. So here are the results of Heat 1A. Steve David in the old boy Alberto. J. Michael Kelly in the Beacon Boat. And Brian Perkins in Miss Albert Lee Appliance. Those are your results. Heat 1A brought to you by Jack in the Box. Has been brought to you by DCS, by Fisher and Pico, brilliantly engineered appliances that deliver elegance, durability, performance, and a high degree of functionality. What's under your hood? And is presented for Seafair by Amway. Heat 1A, sponsored by Amway. Steve Cherry from Amway is here to present a nice trophy and a nice certificate to the winner of Heat 1A, Steve David, and the old boy, Oberto. Steve, do the honors. Uh, Steve, on behalf of Amway, uh, I would like to congratulate you and Team Old Boy Oberto for winning Heat 1A of the Unlimited Hydroplane Races. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you. Uh, thanks so much to DCS and Albert Lee Appliances, and we want you to know that this $500 is going to go to the... Uh, Seattle Make-A-Wish Foundation, um, we meet those kids every year and they got a lot tougher than we do and we hope that everyone here has a chance to support the great work uh, that they do for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Thank you so much for this trophy and we hope to win a lot more for that charity. Thank you.